Mohammed, what do you think? If he were to do that, if Jay Powell were to go ahead and move 100 basis points, kind of shock and awe, I do think we've kind of gotten to the point where you can say you're going to tamp down inflation and that is priority number one, but people may not believe it until you actually, what was the Hank Paulson phrase? You know, you've got a bazooka, you've got to pull it out and show them. Yeah, I mean, he needs to regain control of the inflation narrative. He had lost control a little bit. Now he's losing total control. So he's got to do something. Um, you've heard me say over and over again, the first step should be explaining why the inflation what? forecasts are so wrong for so long. And second, I agree with Jim. He's got to move because if he doesn't, he's going to be chasing the market and he's not going to get there. So if that is what we've already seen, another 383 points this morning on the Dow futures, even after the 600 plus points that we lost yesterday on the expectation that this would be a hotter number, what happens if he raises 100 basis points right out of the gun, surprises people? Like how far down do we go before things stabilize? So remember, you've heard me say we are pricing three different risks, interest rate risk. That's what you're seeing right now in the market. Second is credit or recession risk. We haven't fully priced that in. And then, God help us, we don't have to price in liquidity risk. So what happens? I think you get rid of the interest rate inflation risk by hiking aggressively and giving a clear message, but you're going to have to deal with the credit risk. So my, my gut says Jim is right, but it's going to be a bit of a V. We're going to, we'll come down first before, before we recover. Okay, um, the numbers are way hotter than expected, and let's just talk through some of those issues. Uh, we thought that we were going to be looking at headline numbers going up. We know food and energy prices are going up, but that was up by significantly more than anticipated, up 1% versus up seven, seven tenths of a percent. But then it was even the core without those things was still hotter than had been expected. We're talking about numbers up 0.6% versus up 0.5% on a year over year basis. The core itself up by 6%. That's huge. Yeah, and I was with you uh, a few days ago when I said I'm baffled by people who are confidently saying inflation has peaked. Becky, if you take the first 10 days of June and if, if they are what prevails for the whole month, the next measures are going to be even higher. So, so inflation has not peaked. We need something to happen to stop this inflationary process broadening throughout the economy and building its own momentum.